And now, the news you need from hosts you trust, but shouldn't. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. news. With Jared Cat Puke Taylor, Dan D'Anthony Holloway, Ross Big Perm Patterson, Evan Jazz Hands Hafer, Matt Second Best, and sometimes Baker the Ball Baby. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Welcome, Welcome to, to the Fake da, 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 da. News. Thanks the, for that. It's Dan. already You're it's welcome, already buddy. playing. You just I know I'm it. I'm no, double playing. But you you hummed you know to the rest of it, which is nice. Yeah. That's a skill that a lot of people just don't have. I'm really good at humming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. are you? <laughs> you want to re-clarify that or no? Cool. Just gonna let that one fly. Well, look, uh, America's really good at uh, doing shit right, <laughs> aka not. How much money we spend on the two years of Trump, Russia, Gates? What do you think, Evan? Thirty million. Uh, it's, I'd say higher, right? I don't know. I'm just throwing a number out there. I, that's kind of Ish. where my head's at right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what would be nice is when uh, something like this happens, I think we need to start putting it into perspective. So it's it's kind of like this. It's like if, the, if, if certain sides of a party want to conduct uh, this investigation or something like this, let's shut down like a portion of the 405. Until that's over. <laughs> to show kind of <laughs> what this... Because when you tell the American public, oh, $30 million of taxpayers' money was wasted on this, it doesn't really feel it. You know, they don't feel it. But they would feel it if we would shut down a freeway and say, until you guys stop fucking around, you're not driving on this. That or take the $30 million and fix I-10 above San Antonio so I don't sit in a traffic jam every day. Now, I would that would that be wonderful. To convenience your life. But <laughs> I just really wish like there was a way to really make the public feel some of these things. To sure. Because it would sway their opinion a little lighter. Like, Well, let's not pretend like uh, the left created this. Republicans tried to uh, roll back Obamacare for like eight straight years, and who the fuck knows how much money they spent on that shit. So it's not like, come on, let's be fair. By the way, you're wearing a hat that's requesting that you drink again. And he did, by the he way. Did. He, he did. He drank a lot today. Well, not a lot, but he put a couple shots into his coffee, so I mean, the hat worked. savaged it, you know? You what, savaged it? At 21 you, savaged oh, it. Oh, a lot. Yeah, 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 yeah a, a lot, lot. A lot. A lot. $25.2 million. Wow. That was really close. Good cast, wow. Evan. That was through September 30th of 2018, so you could probably hike that up a uh, scotch. Another the 30 five million. Mil. Yeah, 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 probably okay. 30. Uh, 40 FBI agents were used. Wow. Um, fuck me, man. I mean, I this mean that is... was less, though. If you think about it, less FBI agents were on this than they were on the uh, the old college gate. Yeah. 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 There were 200 so 300, on that one. I thought it was 300. No, I think it was 200, right? 2,500 mm -hmm. subpoenas. Mm -hmm. In the college scandal? Or no. in this one? For Trump, oh, Russia. Okay. Yeah, the, the college scandal has just begun, um, which is going to be... Now, I, yeah, I, saw I would this be... Week. Oh, God, sorry. I would be totally fine with this. Like, I'm totally fine with it, which is I think they should have opened it up to every presidential candidate and how they actually receive funding i would be completely open to this because i think this kind of we kind of saw one side of this which is yes he is the president yes he does have the most influence specifically in the government as one person but if we would have opened it up to hillary too and said how much impropriety or illegal activity is going on across the board because what I would love to see is just a complete overhaul in campaign finance just in general and just scare the living shit out of everybody and just roll them all up. Right. right. That would be Send amazing. them all to fucking jail. Shut it really fucking hard, you know, with that little sound like clink, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. just <laughs> send them all to fucking jail. And then the next presidential election cycle, everybody would be like, holy fuck. We we gotta we've gotta watch everything we do. We gotta watch every dime. We gotta look at every conversation. I think we would be we would we would run into less problems if everybody was under this much scrutiny. It's my two cents. I, my two cents is this: put a salary cap on it, like like uh, in baseball or football, for presidential campaigns and all that shit. Yeah. Hey, you can't go over X amount of dollars, right? That way, everybody's on a fair playing field. Because look, look, you have in the Trump election, right? He paid for most of that campaign himself. Mm -hmm. 
I don't know how much Hillary spent on her goddamn I don't know, shit. but it's, you know, you remember Citizens United, right? Everybody remembers that? Mm-hmm. 2010. Yeah. So basically it was the Mitt Romney thing. Corporations are people, which means a corporation could spend money just mm-hmm. like an individual. Correct. That's fucked, man. I mean, there there are, like GE, for example, in, in California, they don't pay any property tax. And I think it was 2014, they, they had a $13 billion profit and they got a $3 billion refund from the federal government. You're telling me they spent all this money on campaigns and then that shit happened and there was nothing fishy going on. Come yeah. on. <laughs> yeah. I, it, it's crazy. So, look, with Trump's full exoneration, what happens next for liberals is my question. Because now you're heading into the primaries. They got to keep it relevant until the fucking primaries somehow. I, I think they've already shifted their attention onto health care, right? So, like, this morning it was all about, you know, health care and their position within um, – what were what I and I'm trying to get this out the correct way, but their position is basically they're supporting um, healthcare. That's what that's what their position is. Yeah, but the current legislation is democratic legislation. Mm-hmm. Obamacare is the Affordable yeah. Care Act is. So what what's their beef? Yeah, and and the other thing is this: during these uh, debates that are going to be happening, these moderators are going to ask them what they thought and, and how much money they spent on the Russia thing and what your, what your thoughts are. So every single one of those motherfuckers is going to have to answer that well, question. Well, you remember the 16 campaign. Every every Republican candidate was asked, what are you going to do about Hillary Clinton when you get elected? Right. Right? It's mm-hmm. going to be the same shit. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's this is a huge win. Fuck, it's a dude. huge win for the Republican Party. It's a huge win. It's a huge win for Trump. It's a huge win for the po- Republican Party. They've basically, if they fuck this one up, they have got to... They've got to light a dumpster fire of like epic proportions. Right, right, right. Like if they fuck this up, they've <laughs> got to really fuck this up. Like he's going to have to be caught in the Oval Office, like, you know, smoking crack or something for right. this to like really go wrong for him. I don't know. Mary and Barry got caught smoking crack in D.C. and he was back Re-elected. in the office in like four years. Yeah. <laughs> Re-elected. I think, I think he was, I think he was caught smoking crack with like $100,000 in cash and in freezer everywhere. and yeah. like a head. Like yeah, a, per- a, like person's a, a person's head. A person's head. A couple underage dogs. Yeah. <laughs> underage dogs. Yeah. Who's just a normal person that smokes crack? <laughs> hey, you know. Life, Soccer moms, you know. Life yeah. is super you boring. It also helps with their sinuses. I'm all fucked up right now. I've been smoking crack all week. Yeah. yeah. I feel much better today. <laughs> huh. uh, what I'm really looking forward to, though, is tomorrow night. Um, obviously, one of the states that Trump turned was Michigan. He's going back for his first rally there. Uh, since being exonerated, and they are expecting the place to be electric. People are already camping out, right, just to get Dude, into this fucking rally going, tomorrow night. They are, they are packing out. Like, didn't I, you see? But El imagine Paso? it now. Like, I mean, holy shit! That'll be his first public comments at a rally. It is going to be electric tomorrow you, uh, night. Well, this is, this is going to be like this is going to be like the team that wins the Super Bowl, right? So then you have not only the fans, like the diehard fans that have been with the, the team forever, they're, they're, they've never wavered from their support. But then after, there's all these other fans, like a tidal wave. So there Everybody are a bunch of people wins. in the United yeah. States. Everybody likes to support a winner. Yeah, they, so they want to be yeah. on the winning team. So yep. this is what's going to happen. You're going to have a, a huge surge of support because now they're like, well, shit. He's exonerated. I'm yeah. good. I can, I can go to you know cocktail parties now and be like, hey, MAGA. Yeah. What's up? Mega. What's up, guys? Mega. No collusion. No I'm just collusion. Like, no collusion. Brother. Like last month, he did, or it was about a month and a half ago, he did El Paso, which is Beto City. And they expected 15,000 and 45 showed up. Yeah. Like, all right. 45 people? It seems like he should be a little yeah, bit more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think, just want to know what they're gonna, everybody's going to do with their, their Mueller. It's Mueller time signs, you know? Everybody was amped yeah. for that. We went to a house where people at Muller candles out oh yeah in kansas city yeah i mean that's that was real like they were really pinning all their hopes and dreams on this now that that's all gone well now he's public enemy number one probably in the well here's the, the funny thing right? about that is it's like these people are like we gotta we gotta get him out i'm like you guys are rich as fuck man it doesn't matter if if a fucking uh a giraffe is the president your life will never change never. you have a billion dollars yeah like what the fuck are you even talking mind your fucking business yeah. I don't. I think once you reach a certain level of wealth, you don't get to vote anymore. Well, I can tell you, when you reach a certain level of wealth, uh, like Jesse Smollett, you can get off on all charges. Which Ooh, is shit's crazy, the next dude. story, everything Oof. got dropped across the board. Sixteen felony charges. I, I found it humorous that there was a, a trend 
on uh, Twitter, and this goes back to shit we've been talking about for a long time. Okay. You and me and that conspiracy theory on yeah. Twitter. Hashtag black privilege was trending yesterday after that got dropped. It's the first time I've, I've ever even heard that phrase or seen it yeah. uh, written out. Um, there's three really interesting things about this. One is there's a bunch of tweets between... Uh, there's text messages text between, between the Obama's uh, like executive system, yeah. assistant... Yep. And uh, the uh, prosecuting attorney. The prosecuting attorney. attorney. Yeah. Like, what the so fuck? they're now opening that up. Like, wait a minute. Wow. But this also yeah. has. Um, well, there was I a picture that popped up with Jesse Smollett and the Obamas. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. Plot thickens. And yeah. Then, well, then the other thing that shows you how absurd this fucking case is is Rahm Emanuel wants to sue Jesse Smollett for the. Like, if you don't know who Rahm Emanuel is. He was a Democratic congressman. He took over for Rod, Rod Blagojevich, who yep. yeah. obviously went to jail. <laughs> and then he was the Obama chief of staff, which is basically co-president, if you don't right. know about you know, Take some civics classes, guys. Uh, <laughs> and now he's the mayor of Chicago. Yeah. Like, it doesn't get any further left than this guy. And even he's pissed he's off. He's pissed yeah. off. No, he, yeah. I, I, watched, I watched the first like, press public conference. press conference that I've ever heard with him. And I was like, man, I like this guy. <laughs> Man, I was like, oh, who am I watching? No, I like him. He is pissed He's off. He's really yeah, he was really so angry. Is the, so is the police captain. Like, they, he got up there and was furious. like... They're furious. And, and the, the police captain's black, so yeah. it's, you yeah. know... He's this like, isn't this, a race thing. This is just a criminal thing. Like, it has nothing no, to do No, the police with captain that. said it straight up. He's like, apparently, you know, you can just do whatever you want. Yeah. Well, if, if, you're if a city, you have the right friends. If you're a city like Chicago, yeah. and it's not a poor city, well, Chicago's stretch, but there's a lot of poor people there. Being dress right, dressed too. They're really not known for a lot of corruption. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's the that's the good thing about the city. Is like they're not really known for corruption, right? Three of the last five governors of Illinois went to jail. I, what? Yeah. That's, <laughs> is that real? Yeah, yes. that's real. For, that's for real. real. That's real. Uh, corruption. Every one corruption. of them. Corruption. corruption. Yeah, every one of them. Mm-hmm. Yep. Every one of them. So my, my question is this. With Aunt Becky and Felicity Huffman now, can can they buy their way out of this and get those charges dropped as well? I don't know. I think that's going to be I, a tough one. It, it depends on how everything goes. Like kids are already getting booted out. Uh, like two kids got booted out of Yale this past week because they found out they got in oh. through shady circumstances. Really, they, those poor rich kids. Yeah. I know. What are they going to do? Doctor Dre's post. They're going to have to go too. to Cornell probably. Yeah, and Doctor Dre's post about his how his daughter got into USC on her own and he doesn't have to go to jail for it. Um, was pretty well, funny. Well, no, no, no. It was, it was he funny. was trolling them. Yeah, he did give seventy-eight million dollars to USC. Seventy-eight million dollars you know he gave to USC. I am fine with that. <laughs> Wait, Doctor Dre you donated yes. almost a hundred million dollars to make that school better. You bet your ass, your daughter's got to see. That's what I okay. say. Whoa. Yeah, but why didn't Aunt Becky just do that? Well, that, that's, that's a the good legal way. way. The, the, People the have been donation. doing that since the fucking the beginning of college. Since college that, started, that's existing. how colleges, I believe, yeah. were founded. Because, yeah. Yeah, because by rich people. Yes. He he yeah. donated that money to the innovation fucking sector of like the uh, arts. Oh, that's yeah. epic. Yeah. Though. That's so epic. how many yes. people? Dr. How many Dre, students bro? are right. going through that now because of what he? Well, a lot of people. Funded. A lot of people okay, don't know this. We can we can spare one seat for for Dre's yeah, kid. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. I'm fine with it. A lot of people don't know this, but like Division One college sports pay for all that other shit yeah so he just helped out the arts program that's all he did yeah i look i'm fine with it again i've said this numerous times this is the only reason you work this hard yeah. in case our kids turn out to be dummies and you can buy their way in i'm fine with it 78 million dollars though huh yeah, it's dre yeah. day that's after when you're selling that things for field. a quick yeah, yeah. bill you know? that's exactly what it was yeah i'll give you a really concerned with your child's education and you're like i'm gonna donate 78 million dollars to a university at that point i think you could pretty much buy Every professor a dean. and a All in a building to educate your child one in, just yeah. to get one on one education with each and Sweetheart, every subject I built matter you expert. A campus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I think that's dope though, because he's obviously supporting the infrastructure of USC, which hopefully other students, which they will, they will go will. through and benefit from that donation. That's fucking awesome. But yeah. wait, maybe this does he's got a point well, here. Maybe and, this also opens up a whole new thing. Because if celebrities are willing to pay for this, why doesn't someone like Dre that has a quick bill open up the school of Dre? And you can give me one to, you know, ten million dollars and we'll throw your kid through. Well, but he is a doctor. Yeah, he's a doctor though. He is. So is he a PhD yeah. though? No, he's probably never, not. he's never been Dr. Dre PhD. I think he's a, a doctor of historical science or something like that. Yeah. So yeah. I do think that seventy eight million dollars probably to like the the you know, the schools in Chicago may have been a better play than USC. Like public but schools? Like yeah. public schools. Yeah. Like 
Hey not kids, here's a real education, so we don't keep fucking yeah. perpetuating the fucking issue that we have. Well, you know, USC's got a five point five billion dollar endowment, so they didn't probably need that seventy eight no, million dollars. That's, hey, that's what else? Yeah, uh, again, that's like it was right down the street. So giving Amy Schumer a six <laughs> inch, you know, it's not going to make a dent <laughs> to her. Like, yeah. you know, get, get a foot long for her. Don't give her a six inch. Uh, next up, we got Michael Abinetti. Oh, the creepy porn lawyer. God oh. damn it. I like this guy. That's, that's, that's your nickname. How do you feel about that creepy porn lawyer? He just keeps if you resurfacing. Look like that, if you look like that, you have to like change your character and attitude some way to like put people at ease and not like look like this all the time. Well, he tried. His face is fucked. Yeah, yeah. He tried. So Wasn't he, he already in trouble for some fucking for uh, outstanding debt? Yeah, yeah. So he was in trouble for that, then magically comes up with these R. Kelly tapes. Two new sex tapes for R. Kelly with underage women. Uh, so they're in his possession. He was turning those over to the government. R. Kelly's been arrested for it, obviously. But he got arrested for extorting Nike the night before March Madness. For what, $20 million he was going Something after? Like that, yeah. yeah. 20, 25. Yeah, that's smart, though. What you want to do is you pick out a company that's a category of one. Like, if you think of tennis shoes, you think of Nike. Yeah. And be like, you know what? Fuck these guys. I can take them. Yeah. No. No, no, no you, you can't. can't. You can't. <laughs> you yeah, fucking that, idiot. That, that's, that's what we call in the biz a tactical error. <laughs> <laughs> and sometimes it results in death. <laughs> that's, that, that is what I call Eastern Front. Yeah. methodology right let's, there. Let's, let's open that up. Let's, let's just go ahead and open that up. <laughs> but the crazy thing is, this actually helps R. Kelly. Because right now, there's then there's reasonable doubt about these tapes, where they, where they came from, how they got there. And also, if this guy goes to jail, these tapes are in his possession, how do they get in back into the R. Kelly case? Well, you know he's going to try to use it for leverage. Avenatti is. Oh, for I, sure. I, I, can I'm, can I'm you sure. go into the details of this? Like, what was he extorting? What was he using to extort Nike with? He was claiming that there was some sexual abuse story that he was going to drop the night before March Madness, and make the company look like shit. They have it on audio. So they and they have this extortion like, on give audio. Give me twenty million, and I won't tell this yes. story. Yes, and there was another co-conspirator that just got named, and it was Mark Garagos. Uh, from CNN, he also repped uh, Scott Peterson, uh, Winona Ryder. Wait, Scott Peterson, like the dude that murdered his wife Correct. in Southern California? Yep. And uh, wow, he also repped Winona Ryder on, on the stealing charge. Mm-hmm. She walked into that place. and So he's an upstanding guy. CNN just fired him this morning. He was also CNN correspondent. Uh, so he's in this <laughs> as well. And I mean, it just so keeps wait, getting better so and better. So Abinetti teams up with a newscaster on a on a news network that's already well. Being he, Mark fucking Garagos attacked. is a pretty powerful attorney. Yeah, uh, he's just a contractor that does bits for them. He's not a full time employee or anything. Right, right, right. <laughs> it's just yeah, but that doesn't look good for CNN's <laughs> reputation on fake news. Well, the, the beauty of it was was Mark Garagos came, came out and said, uh, "I didn't want to work for CNN anyways. It's a lame ass network. Never I, you don't hear too many people in their sixties either." Use the lame. phrase "lame ass" very much. He's right, though. I mean, you know, he's a hundred percent right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I was uh, I was watching Don Lemon this morning. Ah, uh, Jerry Fuck. loves him. Oh, just, Jerry loves him. I just him. like to say that name and let it hang in the air so he can react. I'm a big fan of his comedy. <laughs> <laughs> big fan. It's it's like fucking performance art at this point, right? Yeah, I mean, look, he's oh, still- he's serious. Oh, he that's a serious. I thought there was all uh, satire. That's no, no, not- no, he's he's for real. That's a real anchor. Yeah, the, yeah there's, there's the very thing. few people that I known? just who would have known. I wish would get in a polo accident and be paralyzed from the waist. What down. about a polo? Yeah. What about a polio accident? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd like yeah. to see that come back. Still polio. paralyzed from the waist down. It just takes because a little bit longer. I just, FDR style. Yeah. Just want him riding that horse and falling off, and you know. That's, That's real that. specific, Jared. Yeah, it's it's super specific. What I love about Don Lemon is every New Year's Eve they send him out to New Orleans. Uh, they send all the correspondents out to cover live from New Year's Eve these fucking cities. Lemon gets trashed. His he goes full gay for that because he's he's gay in real life, but he he hides it on a show. That night he lets his hair down. He goes full gay. Starts doing shots. Starts starts getting real handsy with everybody. It's hard for me to take journalists seriously when you see them getting fucked up on New Year's Eve. You know, I don't know what Tom Brokaw did. You know what I'm saying? Like he was probably doing rails off a off a hooker's ass. You're just saying keep keep it professional. Keep right? it professional across the board. Well, did you ever see Walter coming Conkite from this show? I mean, that, that's great. You yeah, know what? yeah, yeah. Really if this is, we're going to talk yeah. about if keep we're going to talk about our case. heroes in the media, yeah. you know, I'm a Dan Rather guy. Are you? 
I'd rather have someone else. I'm kidding. I, his opinions these days are, are too much for me. I ignore them. I'm just talking like late 90s Dan Rather. I thought that was that was, that was impeccable. That was peak. We should host a New Year's Eve show. We should. We should. You know yeah. what we should have on it is David July. Um, yeah. Guy I met last night from an episode that will never air or see the light of day on this show or, or any other show for that matter. And that's good. That was one of the most interesting <laughs> interviews that maybe seven or eight of us will have in our entire lives. That'll be in a that I, had, I had a friend text me about that today, and I was like, hey, don't worry. We already trashed the episode. And he goes... Yeah, pretty sure that one will serve us best just as a memory. <laughs> and I was like, that's a good memory. Your wise words are good receptive memory. well, friend. What you else know, we got? You know shit, wait, hang on. But you know shit got fucked up when we air shows called Two Buzz to Air, and that one was beyond ever that one airing. was four levels beyond ever. It was a lot of fake news. You know, it was, <laughs> it was, hey, that's okay. You live and learn. Um, and I guess we can say keep it professional to, to John Lennon. Now. Yeah, we can. John Lemon? You mean That's what Don I call him. Lemon? Don Lemon. Uh, no, I don't call him Don Lemon. You call him John, John Lemon. Lennon. Ron John Lennon. Lennon. Like, I want to listen to music. Lemon. Good good music, not shit comedy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, Next. Should, we should make a character. Sorry, you guys are I mean, too I, serious for fake this news. Is, this is way well, too hey, right? I, 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 serious. Nicole and I were laying... <laughs> We're oh, hanging out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Last night, the cat's I out call of the you. bag. We, yeah. we're, we're, we're laughing because she, she brought up some this joke, and then I just started going off. And I called to him at like after we all went to bed just to tell him this. And I was just like, you know who doesn't get the the recognition he deserves is Ron Decimal. Yeah, <laughs> you know his brother Dewey got all got all the press. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Dewey Decimal. You know they, Ron they got worked nothing. on it together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a two man <laughs> team. Yeah. The Dewey Decimal System. Yeah. But Dewey took all the credit for it. Oh. Uh, next up, we got Joe Biden ripping the white man's culture uh, during a speech last night. One of his first campaign speeches. He's white, right? Uh, am I? He, what does I ripping don't think the he... white man's culture mean? Uh, that you know the uh, everything in today's society, in particular, and he was going back all the way to the Anita Baker uh, case against Clarence Thomas. Right. That you know it was a bunch of white men in Senate. And we've got to change the culture of that moving forward. My problem with that statement is this: You're a white man who is running for president. If you really wanted to change, you wouldn't be running for president. Like, it, let's just take the white man out of it. Cory Booker's running right now. Uh, you've also got Kamala Harris is running right now. Yeah. If you want to change the white man culture, remove yourself from from trying to become president. Just just make it those two. I I would take a stance of, you know what, if you really want to change the culture, you have to know it. So he's so white, he's almost translucent. Right, right. And yes. uh, he's, I think he's 150 years old. He might be a he's vampire. Right? Possibly yeah. a vampire. Yeah. Yeah. He might be a vampire. Yeah. So, so he, he was first elected to Congress at 29, and that's the only job he's ever had. Congress, Senate, Vice President. Like, literally, wow. he's never had a real yeah. job in his fucking life. Who's more qualified to, to change the system? Then it's someone that's never that's been, been in, in it. Then an old white man. <laughs> years. It's so fucking translucent, you know. I mean, I think it's him. He hasn't. He's got. He's gotten younger. So, I mean, just in the last decade, I think he looks younger. He does look younger. Yeah. yeah but why are we doing... skipping over Elizabeth Warren? Well, look, it, it, all of them across the board, and I, and I think that the reason why I brought this this one up and, today, you know, we have our our our. It, our well, maybe Hispanic. that's the collusion right there. Is fucking Russia has vampires and they're sending them over to bite liberals, Transylvania. Yeah. right? Yeah. And so now, like Biden's, you know, going the other way in age yeah. because he's a fucking vampire he to is. take over. So you're saying that communism is spread through blood, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a blood. Bo- it's a bloodborne pathogen. Illness. Yeah. It's a blood. Yeah. 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 Never really wow. thought about yeah. that. But how does can how we, does it spread can like we get hepatitis? Some, can we get Gary Busey on this? Yeah. 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 Hang on, absolutely. Let me yeah. Let's get yeah. Ron Jeremy and Gary like Busey it. on this. Where we were his researchers. Thoughts are real quick. But Evan, my question to you is this: How does how does the entire party moving forward get over this white man's guilt that they have? Because right now it's like, oh, it's it's you know the white male privilege and all of this mm. shit. But you have you've Beto, Biden, all these guys running. Robert, and it's, please, Robert. Yeah, we don't use Robert that O'Rourke. Word here. Um, it's such I, a weird. It's such a weird sleight of hand that nobody. I, I can't people understand. Refused, people on the left refuse to talk about it. I know. Look, I grew up in an all black neighborhood. Okay, when I was a kid, and I wore these shoes. They were Nike Air Raid. You probably remember them. They had the X strap on the front. I remember that. And the actually. kids in my fucking neighborhood called me Malcolm. That was my nickname because Malcolm X. They thought it was funny. And I was the only white kid there. <laughs> if I had my name legally changed to Malcolm, 
to appeal to black voters, people would run me the fuck out of town. <laughs> yeah. right? That would True. be the most yeah. ridiculous thing True. that had but ever happened. And that, that motherfucker that... built his entire political career on this shit. Yeah. And we're just like pretending like a it's not a thing. A tanning bed and a nickname. And a sombrero, probably. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That should be the bit of song. A tanning bed and a nickname. Yeah. All you need is a tanning, tanning bed and a nickname. Do you guys you remember Jib Jab? Sway your voters. They used to make no. those animated like political commercials. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. We, should, yeah. we should do some of those. Uh, yeah. Just like, what is those the, would be really good. What's yeah. the obsession with like all the racial divide these days? Oh, it's so ridiculous. Like, instead of reading, focusing. They're just reading poll data. That's what it well, is. Well, of course, yeah, but it's fucking ridiculous. But it really it's doesn't like, exist that much. And we had, no, look, we had the hot American twins on culture, here. Man. And we travel all the fucking time. And I'm, I've been everywhere across the, the United States in this last year, especially with you. Yeah, we've been everywhere. We've asked people, we're like, hey, is it, is it really that bad? And they're like, no, but we keep reading about it. And it's the same fucking answer, and I'm like, it's hyperbole. I mean, that's what we've said a hundred times. It's like there's like we should take from a military culture. Like there is no racism in a firefight, dude. You give a fuck. You're all there for one team, one fight. Fucking save the dude or the chick to your left and right. Move the fuck on. Complete the objective. That should be the methodology in politics, which will never happen because it's no. completely fucking corrupt from the floor down, floor up. Yeah, whichever way you look at it. Yeah, I say floor down because it's really like the devil shit down there. Yeah, so the floor is lava. Politics. The floor is lava. Yeah. You gotta, yeah. you gotta keep on That's, jumping. That is a subject that uh, no one's bringing up. The floor, the floor is, is lava. Floor is lava. Again, yeah. we gotta get lava. Busey and, and Ron Jay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're working on it. We're working really on it. We're trying to get Busey. You know, no one's seen Speak, him in a while. They said he went to his shed, that, and they haven't seen well, him. Well, yeah. What are you gonna do, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think they pull Busey out of retirement just to play the Unabomber. Don't I think, think he would be a great. Don't think he's retired. Timothy McVeigh. He really wants to keep working. <laughs> no, the Unabomber was the, uh, was the amazing. crazy professor that yeah. went out to the, the mountains and lived in a shed. I'm like, he's he's made for that role. Yeah. He he's really lived is. that life, basically. Yeah. He just hasn't. Maybe he's just knowledge, being a method actor yet. this whole entire time, and for he's prepping his whole life for this one role. Yeah. Yeah. What do you think today has in store for Busey? You know, what do you think? Oh, Dude, boy. why don't we do that show, A noon? Day in the Life of Busey? Yeah. Yeah. And oh, just follow him from probably, what do you think? They used to have it. It was on Comedy Central. Yeah, it was on Comedy Central was, for a year. Uh, it was fucking Chaos. amazing. Yeah. It, what and was I, it called? I'm with Busey? I'm with Busey. Yeah. I'm with yeah. Busey. Yeah. I couldn't and tell if it was real or not. I, yeah, I mean, the whole... But, f- it's It was a fuck. what about this? We take that, that $37 million, or the $78 million, excuse me, and we just give it to Busey, and we just travel with him for a year, and we have to do everything that Gary Busey wants to do. Oh, I don't know what that, that would be enough money for me Do you think we, do you think we all of us that. wouldn't come back alive? No. That wouldn't be enough money. Remember your training and you will come back alive. <laughs> yeah. We'd have to do like a, uh, probably at least a 12-week train-up for that. Yeah. Just to get, <laughs> no, just why, get what, How do you camp. envision yeah. it? What do you think Gary Busey wants to do? In life? Yeah. Yeah. What is he doing today? He's he's doing. Does he got money? He probably wants to like drop think, acid no. and go swordfish with great white sharks. Something fucking crazy. Yeah. Which I, actually I, sounds fun other than the acid part. And I think he's Sorry, Dan. dwindling on Sorry. cash. So I don't know what he's doing. I mean, when you when you lose half of your brain in a motorcycle accident, it really takes a toll on you, um, and that's what happens. That's him. what I've heard. You yeah. only use about ten percent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's right? just spread out. I think. Yeah, yeah, it's spread out all over. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of this, uh, this <laughs> Joe Biden thing, Facebook put out an announcement today that they added white nationalists to their hate list of hate group stuff. So Correct. they're going to ban all those accounts. Again, it's all press. Like. All the independent studies show there's something like less than ten thousand yeah, white it, nationalists it's in this a, country. They they estimate it's between five and eight thousand yeah. people in this country. So where are they getting all these people? Like, and why are they making such this fucking massive or massive deal over it? And it's like I don't know. And I I've like never how seen one. On it's Facebook. like you look at in a fucking living room Scare and there's tactics. one white nationalist who everybody fucking hates, and then you have all the liberals picking on him, and to their back. There's 30 fucking radical Islamic terrorists that are prepping bombs and culture to fucking take down the West. And they're like, hey, guys, you're just making tea over there. Oh, sure, sure. And they're like, fuck the white supremacist. You're like, that's not the fucking problem. And if there is, we'll fucking shut them up real quick. Yeah. It's 2019. Yeah. Like, no one fucking is on. Jesus. I don't I've never seen one white supremacist Facebook page. Um, no. No. I've also I mean, never gone out of my way to look for one, but we're we're I'm, a bunch of white guys, yep. right? Yeah. So I, I, identifying this is a, this is a fact. We're a bunch of white guys that have traveled a lot and talked to a lot of people, and we've I've never met a person that's been like openly, hey, yeah, I'm I'm a white supremacist. Yeah. I've never Me actually either. met a person no. that said anything like that to me. Now, granted, maybe it's just. 
they're they're covert, I guess. I don't know, but it just seems a little bit crazy that the amount of travel that we've done, we've never really run into any of these people. Yeah. It just seems a little bit crazy. It's odd. It's yeah, odd. It's odd. Uh, next up, Babs. Oh, Barbara Bush. You know my love of Barbara Bush. Yeah. You know I, I love do. Mason B. Bush. I know. Um, her, she's got a new biography coming out. Really? Yes. I will read that. Uh, she's dead. and um, But it's coming out. How'd and she I, write I know this you're looking book? forward to it. That's what I said. You know, yeah. did, did, was somebody writing it right Listen, before she is died? It's just like ah. the Democrats and Ghost their dead writer. voters. Ghostwriter. Yeah. Well, right. we'll find out if, if her name's on the cover. You know what I'm saying? Ghostwriter. So, She'll never know how it did. Yeah. Uh, Barbara Bush, she had a countdown clock uh, next to her bed for the seconds and the hours until Trump would leave office. So that's 2024 then, right? Yeah. Because <laughs> let's let's face it, she had it. So, but that was the, that was one of the questions asked. She had it as twenty twenty. So she was she's fully expecting four years out of that. She also blamed uh, Trump for George Bush Senior's heart attack. She also claims that George W. Bush voted for Hillary in the last election. I I just can't see a, a Republican president sitting down and pulling the lever for Hillary. Can you? Uh, yeah, for sure. By the I, way, I, I really want to commend you on that ghostwriter joke. Um, right, thank that, you. I'm going to circle I, back on that. I would just like that. everybody didn't get to credit rewind for that. to that because that was a, that was that a was good a funny one. funny joke. Right? You didn't get credit for that, I and didn't. I want to make sure you thank did. You. because Thank that, you. I appreciate yes, that. Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, that was a good one. Can you see him pulling the lever for Hillary for real? Yeah. He probably sure. owed it. No shit. You know? Yeah, yeah. He'd probably, he probably wanted to make sure he wasn't in the sights. You know, He didn't want to get Clinton suicide. I think that... Hey, I voted for you. I think that these people, they establish these relationships, you know, based on the circle that they've been in. Uh, I think that they've they probably have a very professional relationship. And ultimately, the, the Bush family, you know, you think about it, you know, Jeb was beaten. Right. So not badly. only beaten, but yeah, like beaten badly. And then you had, a uh, you know, the candidate at the time that wasn't saying anything positive about the Bushes whatsoever is saying a ton of anti-Bush rhetoric. So I think that it became personal at that point, and that's just my my two cents is they have a personal relationship with the Clintons, and they had a guy that beat their son, and then he was saying a bunch of anti-Bush rhetoric. Yeah. There you go. There's there's your cast your vote. I don't think that you could do it. I think it becomes personal at that point, and then it's like, you know what? Boom. Yeah. She wrote in Jeb's name, by the way, uh, when she voted. Well, of course she would. It's her son. Yeah. I, if my if my mom didn't vote for me, I'd be super pissed off. Like, Can we really? Get it on my the mom phone, wouldn't she? vote for me. No, I know that, yeah, Jared. No. Yeah. yeah. Your, your mom would vote for Evan, though. Yeah. <laughs> we all yeah. would vote for Evan. I would, <laughs> for sure. Uh, next up, Apple is coming out with its own credit card and acting as its own bank. You guys in on this? Yeah. The credit card looks dope 100%. as fuck, by the way. Yeah, is it white? It's got, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's course. white, and it's, it looks heavy. It looks heavy. You yeah. know? They, need, 100%. they need to start, like, we've been waiting for Apple and Amazon to come out with their own cryptocurrency. Yeah. I don't know why or we Facebook, haven't seen it yet. A bank. Yeah, like, bank. why have you not? your own bank. Yeah. Where you actually get cash back for the you things get a house that you buy. From Facebook. That's that interesting. Great. I'm sure, and then all their products, you'll get cash back. And, yes. and that, yeah. that's correct. That's interesting. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I have am the Amazon card because I fucking how much money I put everything on that thing, and I usually get a shit ton of rewards every month that I just buy fucking free shit off Amazon. It's great. And so. I also have a policy that, you know, I invested in Apple and Amazon both. So you know what. I buy their products because I'm also an investor. When I say I'm not a big investor, it's still got stock in their company. You get so stock in the company. Yeah. I, I mean, and we have apples at the the company. Like I love their products, man. Same. I'm that guy. I'm like, hey, I love their products. I'm if they come switched. out with a, is everybody if they come out with a fucking comb, I'm buying it. That's the divide we need to talk about, not fucking Democrats or Republicans. Apple, and Apple and Android, versus correct. Windows, Android, Windows. Oh. Going to Are you guys all? Yeah, we're all Apple. Apple and when I when I text somebody and it comes back as green, and uh, I know that I am a fucking an elitist on that. Same. When someone texts me. <laughs> And I'm like, bitch, you fuck don't you don't have iMessage? What yeah. the fuck are you? Yeah. And then I think they got Ooh. some fucking scam number. Started yeah. the, hey, when are you gonna be an adult and get an iPhone? Exactly. Right. Seriously. And yeah. I get it. A lot of like super tech savvy people are are against them. I was I was super anti Apple until like two thousand and seven. I made fun of everybody, always because you know, I used to build my own Windows computers, and then the second I switched over to Apple, I'm like, okay. 
bought an Android like three years later, and then within a week I traded it back in for same. an iPhone. So same exact the functionality story. Yeah. of it sucked. It was glitchy. It was. It felt like a. a, a a fucking Walmart version. I don't no, want to like use a, a new a new operating system. Like, I mean, you get a new upgraded iPhone, you already know that how and how much works. we fucking do in content when someone doesn't have an iPhone. Like, I mean, I can I can Dropbox or text do these videos. Yeah. I'm like, you fuck, what? fuck you, yeah. airdrop them, dude. Exactly. Yeah. Come I on. Yeah. I don't want to go down a rabbit hole here, but a Windows operating system takes about 26 applications running at one time to keep it alive, and Apple takes two. Right, it's, right. All, it's about efficiency at that point. Apple had solid state drives before anybody else. The fuck out of your Windows. Yeah, that but the, 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 the people would combat you saying that you know you can get an eight hundred dollar computer that outperforms a twenty five hundred dollar Apple, uh, which, I, I'm not, which is true. I don't like the operating system on on an, on Windows, but yeah, I'm and, not poor, so I don't care. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Dude, I thought... you know you're a real gangster if you're running like Linux. That's when you're yeah. like, all right, yeah. all right. You I, get I have it. a machine yeah. at home with Gen 2 Linux cool. on it, but I use that for other shit, like dark web stuff. I yeah. bought an Android phone a few years ago because mm-hmm. my brother in law was like, hey, these new galaxies or whatever it was, I forget. Samsung like, Galaxy, yeah. Yeah, he's like, man, you got to get one. And I was like, okay, yeah, man, I'll try it out. I'm looking for a new phone. I'm kind of like, yeah, I'll try it out. I had it for three or four days and I'm like trying to plug in everything. You still had to call your voicemail. Yeah. I Whoa. I, yeah. I was I was like, this can't be right. This can't this can't be a thing. <laughs> no. Right? I, I was like I was How astonished. Elitist, we I was all like, come. I have the, to call my fucking I had to call star my six voice seven mail. or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Get Put the fuck out of here. I'm not gonna call my voicemail. And that was the killer for me. I was I like no that. fucking way. I'm not calling my voicemail. This is dumb as everything shit. Everything today in technology is about convenience. It is. Like, if you add one extra step to something, I'm throwing that device out the fucking window. Yeah. I don't have time for it. Yeah. Which is funny, because we all grew up in an era where we didn't have... I didn't get a phone until I was 17 yeah. or 16 or 17, which is still young, but, you know, there were no tablets. But now we're like, are you fucking kidding me? I know. There's no Wi-Fi on a plane? Hurling tablets. Yeah. yeah. It's it's the fucking worst. Somebody sent me a Samsung Speaking Galaxy. Speaking of... For, for a test, by the way. The only thing I will say that it does better is the pictures. Did you take a picture on that fucking thing? Crystal no, God I don't know, yeah, dude. This the the iPhone 10 Max or whatever S that I have. I mean, portrait mode. It's it, it's gangster. We, the, the Google hey, the portrait gangster. mode's sweet, but the that that Google one where you can zoom it out now. You know, yeah. when you're taking a fucking selfie, and it looks like it's 80 miles away. Uh, we, we are not being paid by Apple, by the way. Just not at so all. I wish know, we were. We are not being paid. No, by I wish we were. You know who is though? Because this was the other big announcement. Was uh, Steven Spielberg? Yeah. Oprah. Uh, they wheeled out all the big guns yesterday. Uh, fucking uh, Steve Carell, Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston. They're, they're going into original programming and opening up essentially their own Netflix at the end of the year. These are the programs they're Whoa. starting with. Can they catch up is the question. I don't think so. I think they can. Yeah, they I don't can. know. I mean, yeah. I, what d- do they call that, Dan, when you have uh, pre-programmed apps? Connected TV. No, on the device that you're buying. Oh, uh, it's uh, shareware, basically. Yeah, or, yeah. Or, yeah. So, so they, like yeah. you're starting with a Netflix. Yeah, you're starting if, with if it. If you can get a contract, right. like it's Apple doing that. Yeah, so every yeah. fucking new Apple device will have those apps. You're, it's probably you're, with the credit card and that. They want to own every aspect of the user, right? Well, yeah, Apple like TV is amazing. power, app power. Yeah, yeah uh, Apple yeah. TV is amazing. Here's the one thing from the production side of it, right? From I, the Hollywood side of it. You're, we are not being paid by Apple. Correct. To... But, and here's why I don't think this can succeed as much as everything else that Apple does, and I love Apple. You're light years behind Netflix. Trying to catch up with how much content that they already have on there is going to take fucking forever. And if you still want to buy movies and rent movies, which is also a big part of what Apple does in the content game, you know, to get that money from you of just renting movies and all that other shit... You're light years behind Netflix where it's like, great, they're, they're already buying it from studios. Mm-hmm. They're going to have to switch that model and get out of the rental and but buy I'll, but I'll mode on it. I'll give them two years. I give them two years yeah. to catch up. They're when I say good. catch up, they're going to take a huge percentage of the market share within 24 months. We can put a wager on the table right now. I think that's probably going to be a big success. Well, I mean, it's we, like the catalog. That's the problem, right? But think about Correct. what think about what Disney's doing right now. All Disney stuff, yep. including the Marvel Cinematic Universe, is getting ripped Fox, off. Fox and they platform. bought Fox, and that merger yeah. went and through. And Fox. Yeah, but here's All another thing too. Off. And that if app Apple comes out at the end of the year. So you don't think that's going to fuck Netflix up? I, I think I, I think it's going to make a dent in Netflix. Uh, I, Apple, I think, is way is just too far behind. I'll take that bet with you. Okay. I think they're too far behind. Um, 
and then Disney yeah, and but they Fox. Can control the fucking landscape. If they don't they, want Netflix to have an iOS app anymore, guess what they can do? They Turn would, the switch. They off. would get sued for antitrust if they <laughs> yes. did that. They're, they're like gonna get, they would that. get sued for antitrust. And you, me having kids. I'm buying that fucking Disney app for sure, like, because I don't have a choice. Of course. Um, yeah, of course. So they're gonna have to do programming like that as well. Uh, the the ironic thing about all this is Steven Spielberg last week bitched about Netflix saying that they should not ever be considered for Oscars because of uh, their streaming service. What? But yet he stands on the stage yesterday on the Steve Jobs. Hey, how does he? I'm coming to Apple. He wow. have any fucking foot? to stand on for that comment. Why? Well, all the Oscars he's won, maybe. Well, yeah. he's got one, I think. That's yeah. a good point. He's only got one, really? Him him personally, yeah, wow. for best director. Yeah, right. but you're saying you're, you're saying what? Oh, because you have a different medium of consuming content, you shouldn't be recognized for making good shit. You're just being an asshole. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So he t- he took a lot of heat from that. Um, yeah, you should. Yeah. You should be like, "You're old, shut up." Yeah, exactly. Uh, also, uh, Bohemian Rhapsody's taking a lot of heat over in China. They cut Freddie Mercury being gay altogether and having him have AIDS from the film that was released in China. How did they explain the ending to that movie is my question in China? I don't see a huge departure from the original story. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah. Seems super I, accurate. Yeah, I don't, I don't see. know. Do they just, do the they, movie ends with him dying of AIDS. AIDS. Yeah. What do you just you say? Just oh, say it ended on AIDS, live AIDS. At an AIDS <laughs> benefit concert, right? <laughs> <laughs> they just replace him with John Lennon getting shot in the street. <laughs> is there a shot? Is there got a rid of a tank? Like, is China like not down no. with telling citizens that Wait. the AIDS exists? Did, you, guys gay, not, gay, did you not people. actually see the end of it? I watched the Chinese ending. Uh, yeah. No, I'm serious. Vin Diesel pulls up, he looks over. And it's and hooch. It's yeah, hooch. <laughs> in the car. And the, it's been a long And he drives off. Yeah. You're like, fuck, that's how he died. Yeah. What are you but what are you doing as a society when you're saying, all right, I guess you're trying to say that there isn't gay people yeah, but in the you world. Know what? This is this is a good example that the le- that the left needs to fucking learn from. This is why this country is great. We get we get to see the whole story, and our government is not the deciding factor of what we're allowed to fucking see. Yet, we get to see more. I wouldn't say all, yeah. right? So well, I would say that yes, yes, I agree with that statement because I mean. That's where they want to go. They want to go with this like all censorship. No we control the narrative. Yes. Well, think about that. New Zealand of this. Shooting. Find that shit on the internet right now. Yeah. Like you, you can't. Jared was talking about this the other day. Not that I want to fucking watch some gory shit, but it was on the internet and it was off, on, off, on, off. Somebody's out there fucking pulling this shit down. Yeah. And yeah. You're, you're telling me governments don't have massive reach into the public sphere. Oh, I, I, I think I 100. percent I think that everybody should be able to view nearly everything unless there's like human trafficking involved or whatever but i think that the average person should be should be subjected to like watching or be able to view gang violence in a chainsaw to someone's throat because i think people become so sensitive they have no understanding of how fucking savage real real life is and they live in this little fucking perfect bubble and then all that does is create some fucking pussy ass Mm. society where we don't believe in what's real and what actually can happen in this world but there's there's a good point in that too which is kind of this the huge upswing in the Vietnam protest yep. was, was greatly due to the amount of news coverage that it was receiving, and it was graphic news coverage. They also used to be able to Good show though. coffins coming home. Good. And now you they can't even show know coffins the fucking coming sacrifice. home. Hey, is, hey how's the war going? Anybody address the fact that Black Mirror already showed us this? Yeah. Remember yeah. they implanted that girl's yeah. head that yeah. censored things through her eyes yeah. and yeah. it fucked her up. Here's what we should do. She started do. stabbing herself. Here's what we should do. Like the next country we invade, and let's be honest, it's coming. We're America. Right. right. <laughs> How long has it been? <laughs> Fingers crossed. How long has it been? We're the New England. We I don't like census violence, but I do mm. like violence. Yes, exactly. I'm just gonna say it. Yeah, it's fine. I, I mean I, I think well, that it's I call okay. It, call it warranted I violence. Invented I, violence. Well, yeah, not not like violence, not like unwarranted. Like yeah. I'm saying like the act of war and the and overthrowing a country 
can be a really good thing. Yeah. It can do, be a good I, thing. I, I do want to clarify one thing because you said the Vietnam stuff. I don't want to be that misinterpreted that ever we should ever glorify like dead American soldiers or anything. No. Absolutely fucking not. Show the not. public. But the public has to understand the fucking gravity of war and what it does to young men and women who yeah. fucking sacrifice life, limb, and eyesight to go fucking fight for their their vote or whoever yeah. they. Yeah, that's put what in I was there. gonna. That's that's like, the point I was getting at. Though we should show, we should send news crews over to the before scene before American troops get there. Right. Show like Saddam was saying, fucking gassing the Kurds and fucking the torture chambers at Abu Ghraib and other places like that. That. Uday Hussein was running, and then fucking bitch at me for going over there and smashing some dude's dick in. You know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you know what? You, you know what it comes down to, and we're never gonna change this, and it's and it's all bullshit anyway. Is things like the fucking Virginia governor's uh, high school photos of him going to um, college uh, or college photos of him going to a costume party in blackface gets a massive public outcry. But where's that public outcry to pull everybody out of Afghanistan and Iraq? No, they don't give a fuck. They're like, ah, well, where's, where's the public out- outcry in being able to work with the Taliban and re- reincorporate them into the process of coming up with some type of peace plan after... No, they don't care. They don't give a fuck. It's, oh, oh, it's well, the next new easy thing to, to fucking bitch about that's in front of their face. That's, yeah. oh, I'm outraged about and that. And you know the thing that makes me the most irritated is that you're using us and our dead friends as fucking props for your political agenda. You can go fuck yourself with that bullshit. Like, right quick. I hate that. That's like the worst. Out of all the things since Vietnam, that's the worst, in my opinion, that's happened in American culture. Well, it's just utter and pure laziness, right? People want to talk about on-campus microaggressions yeah. rather than fucking worry about, you know, yeah, still yeah. sending people to go fucking die overseas. You're, like, great fucking plan for your life, you little fucking pussy fuck. Yeah. Your, your parents voted in an entire generation of volunteers to go overthrow multiple countries and shoot people in the face and everybody's concerned with identifying a gender and microaggressions or offending somebody and it's like oh, horseshit. you guys don't yeah. understand there's a whole fucking subsection of American society that's between the ages of 18 and we'll call it 40 at this point that have been fighting wars and right. There's no realistic look into what their decisions have actually done to a segment of the population, which is it's the volunteer service. They can pretty much, and I've said it, it's it's economic conscription, too, to a certain degree, right? Because you have a certain segment of the American population, which is ultimately very patriotic, very supportive of the country, and they'll volunteer, and a lot of this is because of a lack of opportunity, while well, you've got another portion of the American society where their parents are wealthy enough to send them to college. They go off to college. They don't have to go. They don't have to go to, they don't have to serve. So looking for opportunity, and you guys know it too, special operations typically doesn't hold a significant amount of the, 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 the when I say the volunteers that haven't had another opportunity. Yeah, but, but the still, regular it's still in there. I mean, soldier. The, the military paid for my college, and yeah. I, I didn't. My family did not have enough money to send me to college. I would Same. have had to grind it out with two jobs and gone to city college and try to get the academics to go to a university. Mm-hmm. But I was granted the opportunity by serving to go get a college education. I love, I love the idea of conscription. Everybody hates me for saying that, but I'll stand on it. Which is, I think what it does is it starts to involve all of society into the choices that the government government is making versus you can very easily just kind of placate a certain percentage and say, well, it's volunteer. You know, they're, they're getting their, their college paid for. The real reason people started paying attention to Vietnam, to what was going on in Vietnam, was because their kids were getting ready to go off and fucking die in a jungle in Southeast Asia. People are like, holy fuck, what are we doing over there? Man, we better start paying attention. I don't want my kids to die. And it's like, yeah, no shit. Nobody wants their kids to die. And the, these are wars of choice. They're not wars of national sovereignty. Like, nobody's... No. The Taliban's not going to invade America and overthrow our fucking country anytime soon. Iraq didn't have that capability either. No, conscription can mean a lot of things. Not everybody Correct. can fucking hump a fucking 100-pound ruck. But you can do some paperwork. You could be God a civil right. servant somehow. Yeah, goddamn right. You join right. the Peace Corps. There's all kinds of shit you could there's do. There's all kinds of shit, man. Hey... There's there's people digging wells all across the, the world for people that need it. At the end of the day, if people aren't actively involved and they're forced, because that's where I will say, if you're going to vote a war or vote for a war, everybody has to pay the fucking price for it. Like, everybody. 
then it involves all of us. It's a national conversation at that point. It's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. I don't know. I don't know about this one, man. Yeah, but do we, we really, really want we, we, we we really to spend back. a trillion dollars on this and yeah. all the bloodshed? I don't know. Five if, trillion. If we yeah, can roll trillion. back, you know, leadership responsibilities to, you know, the early 12th, 13th, 14th century where leaders were going into battle. Yeah, I was just going to say. Saying, hey, if you're on the Congress floor and you're saying... We're going to declare war. Guess what, motherfucker? You're getting a set of armor, yeah. and you're in the front yeah. truck. There's this great and how many of you are going to vote? Yeah. There's this really good story about, uh, and I can't remember which book I read it in, but it was, it's about uh, uh, Adams, President II. Mm-hmm. Um, he's on a boat on the way to France to start negotiating with them while we were in, yeah. during the Revolutionary War, and his kid is like down below. Like in the fucking belly of the ship, and he's yeah. up top with a musket, fucking firing at British ships as they were. Like that guy was the second president of the United States, and now look, <laughs> yeah. make on, presidents man. gangster again. Like when's the last president that was a combat vet, real combat vet? It was H. W. Right? Yeah, yeah, he was a senior. That's why I said he was our last real American president. Yeah, and before that, who was it? Uh, God, that's it. A, wasn't that's a Eisenhower. Question. It wasn't uh, Reagan. Eisenhower. It wasn't Carter. Yeah, it would have been Eisenhower. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's, that's two in the last 70 fucking years. No, Kennedy. Oh, yeah, Kennedy, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah true. so it would have been Kennedy. Yeah. Is he alive still? JFK? No. It's no, he's got a headache, yeah, I think. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Died of a headache? Shifted away to a lighter conversation. This exactly. is fake news. Yeah. Fake news, everybody. Fake news. Uh, last but not least, Bear Grylls is doing a new interactive series for Netflix this is the second time they're doing this. Bear, Bear Grylls? Yes. Is this is this where the future is? The of... Choose Your Own Adventure, you mean? Yeah. Because they did it with Black Mirror. They did. And, and this Which is the was second one. Which was shit, by the way. That was terrible. It was horrible. It was awful. I don't, I don't really give a fuck about seeing this. I don't this. think this is the future. Yeah, they I don't, need no. to stop I don't, it. I don't think this is the it future either. What do you mean, Choose Your Own Adventure? Oh, you haven't You want to see him eat yet? a bug or jump off a cliff? Got click, it. Click one, and then it, the, you know, the show keeps Here's going. Here's the problem. 4chan is going to get a hold of this and read it. And it's just going to be drink your own piss, drink your own piss, drink your own piss. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody will yeah. troll this process, and I can't fucking wait so, for it. So here's the real question. Why do we give a fuck about Bear Grylls anymore? Like, do we care the, at all? No. Like, that, that dude was in the SAS, like, back in the fucking day. Nobody gives a shit. There's a million fucking survival experts out here that are actually American that know what the fuck they're talking about. And yeah. didn't have, like, a camera crew while they were staying at the Four Seasons and all this other bullshit. No offense to anybody. Like, the, the guy, I'm sure, is super fucking hard. I thought Survivor Man was better. <laughs> we said Steve Howie. Steve, Steve, Steve Howie. Howie. All fashionable. Shit. But, but that's what entertainment... There's some bad but, motherfuckers but, out but there. But it doesn't sell, right? You Les know? Shroud is a bad motherfucker. Like, he's the first... Like, he sets up the camera. He does everything himself. He's super fucking legit. Bear Grylls, it's like, dude, Really? Yeah, you're, fu- you're <laughs> fucking yeah, but it's entertaining. Fraud. People want to see him eat the big bug and almost vomit. If other people want to show you how to make a fire out of nothing, like a lot of people don't give a fuck. I want to see. That's Les why Choose Your Adventure doesn't work for me because yeah, so I, don't, I don't want to make decisions. When no, I'm no, I want the decisions made that's for all it's me. Be. That's that's what the fuck I'm paying. No, it's drink you. your piss. The- drink your piss. Drink your piss. Drink your uh, piss. No, I, it got tiring watching the fucking yeah. Black Mirror. Exhausting. I kept having to find the remote because I'd get into it like, oh, this is getting good. And then, oh, fuck, the time is running out. I so, have to choose something. You know how tiny a fucking Apple remote is, too? That's the yeah. one thing they, they have fucked up. Bum. Yeah, I tape it to a bigger remote and then fucking start well, doing like, that shit. Remember, <laughs> you, you, YouTube tried that back in the day with the Choose Your Own Adventure stuff and you had to pick up that chicks from a bar and you yeah. had to do the mm. questions right. It was yeah, just yeah, fucking yeah. annoying. You'd play it once. It and is, you'd be man. Like, Ugh. If you're somebody like Jared, by the time you start watching Netflix, it's like 8 p.m. You're already almost blackout drunk by then. Blotto. So what kind of fucking <laughs> right. motor Blotto. skills do you have at that point to be what deciding? Is Blotto? No, blackout. Gone. Blackout drunk. You were <laughs> Blotto. gone. Blotto. Blotto. We're going to end uh, this segment with some real news. Uh, there's a book coming out August 20th uh, by Mr. Matt Best. Can we confirm that release date to the world? August 20th is the date. Holy shit. Set in stone. Ooh. Oh, my God. Cannot yeah. wait. And what the hell were you guys uh, pounding uh, over here during the show? Nicotine gum. 
Oh, I was pointing at the yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee cups, coffee. but uh, <laughs> there's just coffee. Sure, coffee. if you want to promote nicotine gum, go ahead. Uh, no, yeah, Black Rifle Coffee. We were drinking Premium a ton to order of Black nicotine Rifle gum. Coffee. <laughs> I had a lot this morning. Drinking Bros Twenty. Join the subscription. It is the best deal going. Uh, let me ask you this: two things, gentlemen. Since we're we're doing video, this is this is on our YouTube channel. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and and watch the video of all Drinking Bros podcasts. Are these going to be available? Because that looks yeah. like a sweatshirt I've never seen. In. These are already out. Yeah. Those those are live right are now. Live. Great. At least with the club. club and only. this will be live in, I don't three know, weeks? three weeks. Yeah. What about Power yeah. Llama? People have been asking about that one, yes. too. The Power Llama sweatshirt you were wearing in a... Uh... Hey, I'll be super transparent. We we made that design with not knowing about it. And there was another company um, that we saw a similar design. And we just kind of reached out because we didn't want to make them mad. Like We had no clue. But that's why we haven't launched it yet. Because we're like... Hey, is this too similar? And, and we'll see where that conversation goes. But you no, know, we're good. We got cleared hot yesterday. We got cleared yeah, hot. Yeah. So there yeah. Is. yeah, power oh, good. llama. Good. Uh, at least you guys do reach out for shit like that because a lot of companies don't. A lot of companies just rip you, designs. You might notice a lot of stuff that's very similar to Black Rifle out there that doesn't. Yeah. Black Rifle. There's about a hundred companies out <laughs> yeah. there yeah, that do it, it every critical day. It would be cool if we didn't do that, and then we got pissy for someone stealing yeah. branding because it happens everybody. every day. That's cool. But yes, August twentieth, Ross. Thank you for asking. August twentieth. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the fake news.